Boxing King Media in association with Boxer Reese Mould. I'd normally like to start by saying you know, how was Christmas and New Year, but I bet it wasn't much of a Christmas and New Year for you, was it? No, not really. Mind you saying that, I did enjoy it a little bit. I'm not making that nine stone no more, so I'm very able to enjoy it a little bit. Yeah, but it's a nightmare for fighters like yourself. Obviously, Javonta Davis was fighting tonight as well, having to train over the Christmas period, so you're saying you still got to enjoy it? Yeah, I still got to enjoy it, but I was professional about it, and I just, I knew my limits and what I had to do, and I still, Christmas Day, I were out running early morning, uh, but yeah, I still enjoyed it with my family. I've got two little kids now, so I've got to enjoy it for them. Uh, but yeah, it was still business, and it didn't break any of my training regimes up or anything like that. I still got my runs in, still got my sessions in when I needed. And apart from my Christmas dinner, I ate like I normally do. Good man. A big, big fight for yourself. English title vacant, obviously just behind you, and the WBA title on the line as well. A massive opportunity for you. So when, when was this first? When was this fight first put to you? Yeah, it was first put to me about. I think about. I meant to. I meant to fight Ahmed in uh, October, uh, and obviously he pulled out. That we had a few weeks to go. Uh, but yeah, it just come out of nowhere, really. I mean, obviously we got had a couple of comebacks fight after the Lee Wood fight, uh, and we're pushing for titles, pushing for titles. Uh, and my manager had a show on, and we're on that, and I just put it out there saying that I'd be fighting for a title. An opponent to be confirmed. Next thing we get a phone call by Ahmed's manager. Do you want to fight him? We can get these titles online. And so yeah, that, that's just really how it come out of blue, really. Good stuff. I'm going to get to Ahmed in a second. Obviously, on paper, if I look at both your records, you both have had like one big fight. Obviously, his was against Lee Shinquin, yours was uh, Lee Wood. So the Lee Wood fight was back and forth. It was a great fight to watch for fans. What did you learn about yourself in that fight? You know, it's, it's, it was a few years ago now. Yeah, just the experience of it all and being obviously in front of like you guys and I've been in front of that on Sky multiple times and stuff like that now. He's never done this, he's never he's never had the main spot and I've had that already. Just little tricks and the stuff being in there and I know you can say oh, I've sparred so and so and so and so but until you actually get in there with 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 him on fight night it's completely different and I've done that. I mean you could say, Yeah, I've only been in with Lee Wood. But then Sean Davis, I, be, I knocked Sean Davis out in the third round for English title. He, he had two losses, two of them being one of them's mandatory for a world title and the other in Gamal Yafai. Is it Gamal Yaf uh, A European champion. It, they were his only two defeats and I took him out in three rounds. So that was another big fight for me. So uh, I've been in this position before and I'm here again tonight and, and I'll, be, I'll make sure that I'll do the job. That's a valid point, Reese. And obviously, weight-wise and size-wise, you're coming up in weight. He's uh, obviously a lightweight. Um, he's been fighting a lightweight for a while, but just looking at him down, you know, he's, he's stood behind us. He's quite a big bloke. So, what difficulties do you think that will bring to you, or do you think that will work to your advantage? Yeah, obviously, by the time we actually box for the English, uh, British title, I'd outgrown the weight, and I'm always quite big at the weight anyway. But by the time it came round after the Ryan Walsh situation and the Lee Wood. Uh, Jordan Gill pulling out, and then by the time we got in there, we were, we were over two years, uh, and I'd just outgrown it, and my plan was I'd have moved up after that anyway. Uh, and we sat down with my team and we said, look, whatever opportunity comes out, either super feather, lightweight, I'll take it. That's not saying that I'm not going to punch at lightweight, because we know we can, and we know what I can do in sparring, and with big gloves on. We know I can drop super feather, super welterweights and welterweights. We know my power's there, and we know as my weight were coming down, my power were going a little bit. So I've, I've got no worries at this weight whatsoever. It's obviously a derby fight. I know you're, you're from Doncaster, but you're more closer to Leeds uh, than you are to Donny. So it's a big derby fight. You know, you're training with Sean as well. So just tell me a little bit about Sean. You know, what's he brought to your game? Obviously the experience in these sort of fights. I mean, how many gyms and how many Gaz has been passed about and gone to pillar and post. He's never ever settled down with him. I'm very, very familiar with Sean. We know how we both work, we know what I need to do. He's not been with his new trainer so long. He doesn't know his downfalls and what is what is good and what he's not at yet. He's not he's not tested. Uh, he doesn't even know what he's like in the ring because I don't even think he's been in a fight night or with him. So I've got all that on my side. I've worked with my man right from the start. 
and obviously the quality of what Sean's done with Maxi in his career, Josh Warrington in his career, and obviously the prospects that are coming through as well. Definitely. And how much um, rivalry is there in this? Have you guys had any back and forth on social media? or are we? Because you're going to have a bit of a face-off later on today. Are we expecting a bit of heat? No, I'm just there, just a fight and that's it. You see, I turned up with my family and that's it. I have not turned up with a group of lads like him or anything like that. It's I'm just business on, on 10th, that's all it is for me. Final one, Reese. just drop me a prediction. Do you see this fight going the distance or do you think you take him out? I think I'll take him out, definitely. Interesting. Last question, what, what did you think of his win over Liam Shink? When did, did you, because that was like a 50-50 fight on paper. Yeah, on paper, well, you say that, but he'd had lost one, drawn one. You take what you want from it, but he'd not done nothing. I believe Ahmed Gaz has not fought anybody in the in the professional. He's been professional longer than me, probably eight or nine years. He's not fought anybody in 18 fights. And if you look back at his amateur pedigree, what, what's he actually done in his amateurs? He's not been like me and gone and fought the best and done the best and won anything. He's never won anything boxing, and that's simple as that. That's quite a statement. I'm going to leave it on that note, Reese. I wish you all the best and uh, may the best man win on uh, February the 10th. Yeah, cheers, mate. Thank you.